Imagine turning your profit into passion year round with no expiration date. We'll be diving in deep into the world of evergreen niches for print on demand so you can find endless opportunities to make money online. I'll give you an idea of, you know, I've been working at it for a while. So I've sold over a hundred K in products all time right here. And then royalties all time. It's like, or, well, obviously with the, all the sales over 350,000, but I'm about to push 350, 50, 350,000 just in the U S alone. And you can see all the other marketplaces, you know, with old time royalties, just to give you that insight of, you know, I've been working in more of evergreen niches for me personally. That's my favorite thing to do at the moment. And just looking at different designs, understanding the audience and try to give them something and create something that they want. Right. Cause that's the main goal. So once a customer goes into the search bar, they type something in, boom, let me give you this really cool design and hopefully you like it and they buy it. It makes things so much easier. If you think about it like, like that, right. Just digging up, digging in a little deeper. Don't be afraid to dig in a little bit deeper when it comes to doing research because the research can make all the difference in scaling your business and growing your business. And that one design, right, can make you a lot of money. And for example, like I have one design that's made me close to 30,000. So $29,588, right, which is really, really amazing. My top selling t-shirt is a black standard t-shirt, as you can see right there. But for the most part is understanding ever, the evergreen niche and then obviously when certain holidays or or, or, or or certain events happen, like, right, it can trend into a top selling design and make you a lot of money if you do it correctly. One thing I want to touch on is understanding making a statement on a t-shirt. If you are creating a design or you're, you know, creating a design for a certain niche, understanding that there's, if you're making a statement with that type of design, it can be very, very powerful and you can make a lot of money based off of that. All right. So think about it that way. When you're creating the design, are people talking about it? And like, I feel like Twitter is a gold mine as far as, you know, of certain events happening in the world. And, 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 and you just follow along with that and you kind of think about like, what up, this can be a t-shirt design. Let me create this and let's see what happens. Right. Cause at the end of the day, when you're on these online platforms, it's like you're creating a design that's more like, like, like a, it seems like it's, you're creating a trending design, but at the same time you're creating an evergreen design and you're just trying to get ahead of your competition. If you're working, you know, these algorithm platforms where you're creating design, you put it up, you're, you're just trying to get, be the first one up there and make that first sale so you can get that organic reach faster. Right. And there's obviously other ways that you can drive traffic. You can, you, there's, there's several different things that you can do here, right? Drive your own traffic, post it to your branded page or anything like that. Or if you don't even feel comfortable going on these certain platforms, you can, you know, obviously you can create your own website, creating your own website. I know people that when it comes to, you know, voting for a new president, they literally go on to Shopify, you know, or WooCommerce and create their own website and put their own designs up over there because they don't want to risk their accounts as far as like creating certain designs on a certain platform. Because at the end of the day, when you're on these certain platforms, if they don't like something that you're doing, they can just suspend your account, you know, and then you're, you're, everything's gone. Right. And it's literally that simple. It's, it's, it's scary to think about, but that's just the way they work. And it's the way they do things. If you're thinking about starting your own clothing brand i highly recommend gelato print on demand and this is a print on demand service where they pretty much print on any of these products so apparel calendars wall art phone cases mugs cards tote bags photo books and there's 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 quite a few different brands of certain products in the back end i highly recommend you test this print provider out if you sign up with my link down below i'll give you 50 percent off your first purchase through them. It's a really, really awesome way to start your own clothing brand. Also too, they integrate with Etsy, Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix, Squarespace, and Big Commerce. So there are several different websites that you can link gelato print on demand. All right. So what is an evergreen niche? Just come over here and just do a Google, Google search so you can get an idea. But basically it's a, it's not a trending design. Evergreen niche, it would be more like baseball, football, any of like, let's say for any holiday right now is Black History Month right? That this month is like trending for black history, but that right there is more of like an evergreen niche because it's going to trend all year long and make sales. Now, like what else would it be? This, this think of any hobbies, any sports, anything like that, that you can mix with any certain type of, it's not more of a, like some of these designs, I'm going to show an example too in this video, but some of the stuff that like baseball or football or black history month, these are like evergreen niches that just trend all year long as far as making sales all year long. So you're looking for something that you're not trying to go after St. Patrick's Day. You're not trying to go after Valentine's Day. You're not trying to go after single de mile. You're not trying to go after, you know, Christmas. Those would be more of like trending style design, holiday designs 
compared to like an evergreen design where it's making sales in June. It's making sales in April. It's making sales, you know, pretty much every single month. But when a holiday comes around, you're also, there's a lot, there's a lot of traffic online people are buying. So you're kind of leveraging those trends or those holidays, and then your design is getting more of a boost and more sales. But when those trends or holidays go away, you're still making consistent sales with that evergreen niche. Now, when I'm personally trying to find an evergreen niche, right? I like to come over here to Amazon. Amazon hot new releases and I'm looking at this the new releases over here So just basically for t-shirts and thinking of teacher t-shirt designs But you could do this with pretty much any single product. It doesn't it doesn't have to be t-shirts You can, you know, you could just or just just go on to a search engine like uh, Etsy or, or, or Amazon keep in mind These are search platforms. So when a customer types in a keyword, they're searching for a product and what they're searching for a product, your goal is to give them what they want. So if you're creating a design, think of a design and, and you're creating these type of designs for the customers, you know, they're, they're coming up and they're seeing th this stuff right here. So it's obviously if they're making a purchase, if it's a new release and it's starting to make sales pretty fast, right? There's obviously a demand for that and people like that type of design. So the market decides if it's a good design or not, not you, the market does. So keep that, you're looking at certain designs, you're like, dude, this design is not even that good. But then all of a sudden it becomes a top seller or you to say that it, it's not a good design, right? Because obviously the customers like that design. They want that product, right? So we're coming down right here. Look at this. solar eclipse. It's going to be happening April 8th. Now, this is something interesting because this right here, it almost turns into like a, a gift item, like a unique type of item. So it's only happening for the one day. Right. But if you are around in August 21st, 2027, when it happened the first time, you're noticing that you're going to see this design right here twice in a lifetime. Right. So August 21st, now April 8th. Now, that's it. If you think about it that way, it's like that design was still selling like months and years after that event happened. It probably wasn't selling continuously. But with that being said, it's like it's like almost like a it's a product that people still want even after that, right? They're looking for it as a gift. Someone in their family wants it or whatever it is. Now this one right here, inspiring black leaders, power fist, hand black history month t-shirt. Now you're looking at these, some of these BSRs, right? If you don't know what a BSR is, it's basically the lower it is. So if it's at, so 18 K it's, it's making a good amount of sales compared to if it was like at hundred K it's not making as much sales. So the lower that is, the more sales velocity that it's making, right? Amazon shares that with us. So this one's at 17 K. This one's at 21 K you're seeing 21 K this one's at 18 K. Now, like Black History Month, like when you think of that, it's in February and then there's Juneteenth in June. Now, with these type of events or holidays, right, this this type of design from my research and, and uh, research and, and just identifying and understanding that that niche, that evergreen niche, that's pretty I'm pretty sure this design right here is going to sell all year long. And then when it comes around for February and June, there's going to be a big spike in sales because of, you know, the, the design. It just makes a statement. Right. I want you to understand that, too. If you're creating a design that makes a statement for an event or a holiday or anything that anything what people believe in, it's going to make a lot of sales and make more money. So we'll come back down a little bit more. Black History Month dream like a dream like Martin, African-American leader, Martin Luther King design. Let's go down a little bit more. You're seeing like there's a lot of Black History Month uh, designs up right now. Now, leap year, too. Now, this happens every four years. Now, this is more of like a trending holiday. It's not like an evergreen niche. So if it's happening every four years, right? This is uh, obviously there's a big demand for this right now. I've actually have a few designs that are doing pretty good in this niche, but that just to give, give you an understanding of what's going on. So, and then obviously St. Patrick's Day is coming up next month. So we're going to start, we're going to see a little bit of those type of designs in here. Uh, let me go ahead and pull open some of these designs right here. So right here, so Black History Month, right? You're seeing that right there in the keywords. This is an Amazon merch on demand t-shirt. So when a customer makes a purchase, Amazon prints and ships this product to the customer for you. You do not deal with any of the customer service inventory. You don't have to worry about picking out a certain shirt. You don't have to worry about the printing uh, that it's all done for you. So if we come down right here and we look at the all time sales, we're going to see that it started. It made a sell the end of January, right? So the end of end of last month, 2024. But I want you to look at this. It's continuously continuously selling and this is more of a newer product but with that being said like if you look at this um, t like look at this design next month maybe the sales velocity might not be there but it's still going to be making consistent sales this is it's, it's approaching towards the end of the month and it, the sales velocity is still there it's still doing really really good now we go on to the next one 
So this is more right here. This is more of an evergreen niche design for me. Even if we, we go into, let me search, let me see. So for example, let's look at this one, for example. So I am Black History Month. This is a perfect example of a t-shirt that's it just selling all year long. So in February, there's obviously a big spike. I'm not sure what happened right here with the BSR right there. It looks like a little wonky right there, but like getting closer to Q4, you know, and then obviously getting closer to Black History Month, it's starting to trend down again. But look at throughout the whole year, when it goes up and then drops back down, it's making sales. So like you can see, like in June, it's making sales as we discussed. But look at it again, when you see it go up and down, up and down, up and down, sells 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 so obviously there is a demand for this niche and it's selling all year long now we look at this one twice in a lifetime august 21st 2027 and april 8th 2024 solar eclipse we look at this t-shirt design right here so it's sold in 2020 or january 21st 2024 and then we look in, look into it even more it's like look at this the downtrend of this right here it's 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 going it's going, oh, it's going, it's making sales. But based off of, if you go back and research to say like the August 21st, 2020, 2017, right? Let's do that real fast. So if we look at a 2017 Total Eclipse t-shirt, look at this one, right? It says the date on it and you can see like kind of just given that of the design of the solar eclipse, right? And then if we come down and look at the BSR, this is going to tell us a story. Like if you look at it, it's selling, right? Even after. So like you can consider this one, look, it's still going, it's still selling. Every time it drops, it's making a sale. So you can consider this one even after that that event was over, that it's still going to make sales. So basically, if there's a demand for it and people still want that type of t-shirt, it can be considered an evergreen t-shirt. Obviously, it's not making that much sales, but the cool thing about it is the event's happening again and people see this t-shirt like they remember or they have it saved in their cart for later it's still making sales so you can consider this one like an evergreen niche right and especially especially with this one right here it's like happening two times so it's a two-time event you, it can still possibly make sales after the event's over so now and then this just, just goes to understanding of research right you're diving in deeper than what you would normally do but digging in deeper to what is going on is giving you an understanding of what is you know evergreen niches so hello darkness D hello darkness my old friend april 8th 2024 same exact thing with this one too as well i think this is would be like the more of the same thing like it, it, we have to wait and see but most likely from my understanding in a way it goes like it's a 17k bsr right now this one is should most likely turn into like this the the one i just shared with you right here this one should be very similar to that one so for example saint patrick's day dabbing a leprechaun now keep in mind like you know that the more detailed the design is people are going to see like people just love leprechauns so if they see like a really awesome design of a leprechaun dabbing you look how you know if you look at that like look how detailed it is and look how like it's really cool it's a that's a really good design now if we look at the bsr right you're seeing that it's still it's like this is more of a trending type of design because you know look at that when you get closer to saint patrick's day you're seeing it just trend all the way down but then throughout the year it just makes you know sales here and there and maybe some people just like to buy a head for St. Patrick's Day or they just needed that shirt again because they've got so many compliments on it and they want to keep wearing it, right? But this one right here is more of a like a trending design. It's not an evergreen design. So I'm just kind of give you an understanding of what is a like an evergreen design and what is a trending design. So hopefully that helps and you can get an understanding of what, you know, what designs because sometimes, you know, you can even create a trending design right and all of a sudden like i said like it can turn into an evergreen design because how good it is if you want to see this t-shirt print that i got from gelato print on demand watch this video right here and take a look at how the quality of the print is if you have any questions feel free to comment down below thank you very much for watching and make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up